best way that I can describe it is the scent of a new pamphlet. Of a new pamphlet? So mm-hmm. smelling cards. Brand yes. are they brand new cards at that? Oh uh, relatively. Relatively new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Smell good. They smell amazing. They smell amazing. That is actually why I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh during my adult life. Me and because they me and, smelled good. I'll I'll, t- I'll tell you a quick story. Good, we're recording, so, so have fun. Are you recording? You're damn right. I've been recording for a minute. Okay, so I'll tell you the story then. <laughs> I'm glad so, you said something before. I said something I regret. <laughs> um, me and let's call him Stan, but I think you know who I'm talking about. Put it together. I'm I'm keeping it vague to protect his identity um because <clears throat> he doesn't want to be known as a card smeller you know probably, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but me and me and stan were in art class um and it was like a college that was bringing in uh like the pamphlets you know like, come see our college <laughs> and me and stan were both like Damn, they smell like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like at the same time, like at the same time, like a fresh pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I swear to God, it, there's going to be, well, we don't have a lot of commenters, but I'm telling you, if we did, <laughs> they would all say the same thing. <laughs> I, need the, but, I need the Yu-Gi-Oh. But yeah, so we were, we were both like, oh my God, these smell like, uh, you know, a fresh pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And me and him are both looking at each other like, you play Yu-Gi-Oh, or used to at that point. We, we hadn't in the years or whatever. So we both were like, oh my god, let's bring in our decks and freaking oh, duel what it out. Was this? this was in like a blanks, month ago. Blank's art class <laughs> no, in high what school. Grade? Uh, was that senior god. year? No, I don't think I think it was I think it was junior. I don't remember if you were in that class with us, Jess. I don't yeah, remember. Because that was where I met you. Yeah, but it was one I'll reveal the college. It was SCAD University brought in a bunch of pamphlets. Shout out. <laughs> uh, well, shout out to SCAD. Your pamphlets smell like you get a card. <laughs> so, yeah, that yeah, was... Yeah, we what... got a short already. Yes. So, so technically, yes, the smell, the smell of Yu-Gi-Oh cards is what got me back into the game, like, closer to, like, my later years. Your, la- funny. your, your later years? Well, later an adult life, but it was I was still in high school. I so. fully expected you to be like, yeah, I sniffed it and I was like, oh man, I gotta play. <laughs> they did. They whipped him off. Smell like Zodia's left leg. Hold on, I gotta go duel. <laughs> Skylar, you have a problem. I just see Alexis sitting with you now. It's like Skylar, sweetheart, you have a problem. I gotta duel. For the rest, I need it. For the record, though, they do smell great. I just they smell like a new. They smell like a new car. Like for a long time, they do. So can you just hang them up in your car as a little uh, fucking? Probably. Um, ref- Honestly, dude, yeah. like they are fragrant. Like I'm not even like bullshitting. All right, like, for coming, real. I'm, I'm coming over. Hold on, hold on. You're, 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 I have to see. <laughs> if only we had footage of you just walking about. That would be so <laughs> funny, right? Oh, Eric, Eric, there you are. <laughs> Be like, oh, it does smell good. Everyone's gonna be like, what in the world is going on here? All right, well, that was a good cold open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we all know that Yu Gi Oh cards smell like a brand new car. Pretty much. Okay. Welcome back to the Leaky Lounge, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Noah doesn't have his camera today, so that's why he's not here, but he's here. Whatever Jesse ends up doing editing wise, I'm sure is funny and interesting. So, hi, Noah. Hi, it's me. I'm Noah. Hardy har 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 har. We'll see how I feel. I don't want to hear it, man. (laughs) You don't want to hear it. You're the one who went missing. Man's having connection issues. Ping's over 5,000, bro. How embarrassing. Right? What a noob. Yeah, someone that totally knows what that means. Like... It's it's, it's it's just it's your connection it's your connection speed and all just call it just call him a loser though. yeah loser <laughs> call loser. him a loser you'll be safe loser you make him cry good 
I hope he does. I hope he cries just a little bit today. So what's on the agenda, Eric? What are we, well, what are we today I figured we were going to have a nice little interesting topic. Um, I kind of want to go on about music today. I want to see everyone's different tastes, like favorite bands, favorite genres, favorite songs, you know, good oldies. I and mean, then we can just kind of go on from there and just see what happens. Great. I can't wait to shit on everyone's opinions. Yeah, <laughs> don't, dude, don't worry. I'm already ready to get yelled at by you for being mean. Like, I know it's going to happen. <laughs> like, I know it's going to happen. I don't know what it is with music. Like, my opinion is so strong about it. I will. I am not open-minded to stuff I don't like. Like, that's it. I, I'm not <clears throat> wrong. It's, mm. I can sit there, and I like a lot of the music that he listens to. He hates and refuses to listen to, like, certain things of mine. Like I can't, mm. and it's I know it's such a bad thing as a husband, but it's like yo, <laughs> <laughs> he like seriously he can't stand it. Like I I used to be like that, honestly, I I used to be the same way, but um especially with shows I, I was really oh, bad yeah, with, but I'm like music, um, Alexa has shown me a couple things that have been really cool, and we've bonded over that. Oh. There's a couple of bands like we we share bands all the time and well like I'll download like a whole album that she has and then I'll down or she'll download. We same to, thing. We yeah. used to do that too, but now we do. Now it's just like one of those like if I hear something or here's a song she hasn't known about and I'll just show it to her and then it's just like all right, good luck. <laughs> the rest is that's up, why I'm a big, that's that's why I'm a big fan of Spotify because you do have the shared playlists. Yeah. No, so if sure. someone likes songs, you just throw them in there and eventually they'll hear them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like I don't I don't listen to the radio or any of that anymore. Like I I've I've completely given oh, God. Up on the radio. I don't even remember I don't even remember the last time I oh, listened to the radio. Man. Like all of it is <clears throat> Apple Music or Spotify or YouTube. Like that Except when it. I was working except when I was working at the pool. I we we well, you listened to, to it. Yeah, you kinda Yeah, we to. have to. Um which that's actually uh how I got onto Foo Fighters new album. That was really good. I, I heard it. I heard a couple songs on the radio, and I was like, "Damn, this is a you know freaking Foo, amazing album, dude." Foo Fighters are one of those bands I gotta get like back into again because oh, I so, dude, I'm telling you, like they're great music. Listen just... to their newest album. There's like at least three bangers. I mean, like I've been listening to it like nonstop. Did it like just drop or something? Is it like brand new, brand new? No, or like dude, I I worked at the pool like four or five months ago, and I'm still listening to those songs, man. I'm like, okay, yeah, they're good. I'll hop on that then. Damn, that's actually good. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's like right now I'm just in my Blink-182 mode. Like, I mean, <coughs> dude, the concert, we're going to the concert real soon. It's like, I can't. I listened to the album. I listened to the album like you told me to. Good album. Uh, since we talked. It was, there were some good ones. Um, I liked, uh... oh, God, I can't even I will name, name every on. single freaking one right I'll now. Just, like, <laughs> I'll look up the discography. Hold on. It's like, I got you, bro. Uh, I'll what take was the, the album off. name again? One more time. Right. Like I liked what they did with this one. It's like, yeah, the reminiscent of what they used to be, but the, the the more hardcore aspect to a lot of their songs too, which are really cool. Because you can't make old British pop, uh, punk, uh, punk rock and stuff like that anymore. Now you got to kind of like, you got to do something different. Yo, uh, where is it? Turpentine. No, I liked Terrified. Terrified is fucking yeah. It's I like so Terrified. Funny. It's, I do like the song, but it's one of my least favorite from that album. I have other ones that I like way more than that. I haven't listened to like the last, cause it's, it's a big album. Oh yeah. Um, and they dropped two extra songs on top of the original album. So it's like 17 songs now or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's 17. I'm looking yeah. at it now. Yeah. It's. You have to sit down and listen. I'm sorry, to no, it's it's 19. Oh, was it 19? Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, that that you it's 17 and then two bonus yeah, ones. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, I only got up to like 10, but I listened to a good majority oh, of it, and so far I think. Okay, have you heard um turn this off because I that is such a funny song. <laughs> if you yeah if you're yeah. sensitive, then turn this off. If you're offended by these words, then please fuck off. It was pretty good. It was fun. I mean, it was it was funny. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly label it like a banger, but it was it was good. I mean, you know, you can be wrong. It's okay. So I listened to the Green Day album, like you told me. Well, the whatever's out. I mean, the rest of it's not. Yeah, I think yet. they have like three songs out yeah, from, from yeah, the new album or whatever it was. Dude, it's very it's it's still Green Day. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's that's still the Green way Day. to describe it for sure. Um, 
Yeah, they're one song I really like. The other two are eh, okay. One Eyed Bastard um, is pretty good. I kind of like that one. I love. I really like that uh, one. I love the American Dream is Killing Me. Uh, I that knew you is, would. Yeah, it's, oh, it's so good. I told her, I'm like, dude, this is just American Idiot just revamped. Like, that's all it's, that just happened. It's right pretty here. similar. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I really liked that. They're, not, they're, they're, they're still... They're <clears> and and Look Ma No Brains was, was good, too. That's... Look Ma No Brains was also pretty good. Yeah, they're just, uh, it's, it's, it's just one of those things with them, which is such a good selling point, too, is they just... <laughs> this works. Why, why am I changing anything? <laughs> Yeah, um, well, if they experiment, I'm not saying that they're, like, they're boring or dull or anything, but they, they found their formula to where it's just like, if I you listen to a Green like, Day album, you know, oh yeah, this is Green Day. Yeah, they really have, like, especially with, they went, they strayed away from it for a while, but like the political side of things, mm -hmm. they they leaned heavily into like politics with like American Idiot, 21st Century Breakdown, yep. but like... Yep uno dos tray they didn't touch that shit at all that was like gone absent boom like nothing so and revolution radio as well but it was uh i think that kind of flopped for me i didn't like that one i'm not gonna lie there was like two songs on there that Dude, I, liked. I think other than that one <laughs> I, I other than that i was like eh. <laughs> honestly was... i'd uh, my least favorite was probably father of all i did not like that album. i didn't like the uno dos tray series i didn't like any of them dude i know I... and i know i should but it's like dude i i tried because i got my like green day like all right you know let me go back and start listening to this shit nah man i could not i always skip those albums i loved uno dos tre and i know i know that is a controversial mm -hmm. take i know that those albums were not well received oh they were, i didn't even know that shit i mean yeah I get they, it, they were I, not i kind of understand honestly it felt kind of rushed in my opinion but you know that's just me I mean, by all definitions, I mean, it was. They dropped, like, three albums a month from a month apart. Oh, that's... Oh, holy shit. I thought it was like... What? No, year. they were, like... Yeah, like no, they were, like, a month apart. That's crazy. But they hadn't dropped an album in, like, God... Forever. Four or five, four or five years. Yeah. So they were working on, like, three albums, but... It was good. I, I, I like Duno Distre. There's a lot of tracks between all of them that I, I really, I still listen to that Nothing. are really good. For sure. I mean, look, that's my opinion could also be wrong. It's all up to preference. I mean, shit, like my favorite fucking, I mean, dude, Blink-182 is my favorite band. Like that, that right alone is like, wow, that takes some balls to say sometimes. Blink. Oh, dude, come on! Like everyone knows, it's a chick band. <laughs> like we all kind of know. That's what? Blink, um, Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, that and just basic frat dudes. I don't know if I associate it with that though. Personally, I don't. I've always seen it as that because every time I went to concerts, I mean, always there's more chicks than dudes, and it's just one of those like, okay, so I I, I, I get the music and all that you make. I associate it with that. I don't associate it with like frats, though. Oh, dude, the 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 humor. Come on, we just talked about. Oh, it. Uh, yeah, I guess. Literally, that. like, <laughs> like all those, like, yeah, you can block it. Um, <laughs> you, you might have to bleep all of that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's okay. That, one, that was heinous. <laughs> Wait until we get to like the real fun stuff and we start talking about Eminem. You're blocking out every other word. <laughs> But nah, man, like, I, I love Blink-182, though. They're a really fun band to watch live, and I just, I can go back and listen to any of their songs and be happy with them. Honestly, yeah, yeah is... it, it was really cool to go actually see them in concert, mm -hmm. and then Travis was, like, spinning around while he's playing the drums. Oh, I dude. was like, you're holding the drum set, and that is so disorienting. Oh, yeah. Dude, we had the best drummer in the world. Tell me I'm wrong, because you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. No one's ready, Travis Barker. I would. There's, there's a couple. I'm ready. Give me one. I would one. disagree with. Give me, give me, give red, me your couple. Red hot, red hot chili peppers. I think he's better. I'm sorry. No, give me another one. <laughs> if you said uh, what's his name from uh, Rush, I would agree. But like Van Halen. You thought their drummer was nah nah. You kidding me? Nah, dude. I'm sorry. Come on, you're over. Right oh now. no Not way! Even competition, in my opinion. I'm no fucking way, you. dude. Yeah, that's. Ooh. The... Or uh, how about uh, Def Leppard's um, drummer that he has? You know, that's, that's. He's pretty badass. He is pretty badass, and he also does it with one arm or whatever it is. Like that's also pretty freaking cool. 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. Jesse, favorite drummer? The only drummer... The only <laughs> name of a drummer I know is literally Travis Barker. Dude, what a it. right <laughs> answer. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, Green, Green Day's drummer is pretty good, dude. Trey Cool is... I mean, is, my neighbor... I, I like solid. that. He's good. He's good. So is um, uh, Three Days Graces. Uh, Neil's also a really good drummer, too. He's a freelance drummer, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> my neighbor yeah. was a drummer. All right, Jesse. Jesse <laughs> time, everybody. Good. Jesse time, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Scott. <laughs> Hi, Scott. No, Scott's a cool dude. I like Scott. So, uh, yeah, so what's your favorite kind of genre? Like, what's your favorite type of music, Scott? Oh, uh, like alternative. Doing? Alternative all day? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I honestly, I really like all types of music. I really do. Um, like, I love... Uh, <laughs> a guilty pleasure of mine is definitely like disco. I fucking I eat that shit that. up, dude. I, <laughs> I love, love that. that. Like Earth, Wind and Earth, Wind and Fire, oh, Bee Gees, dude. I love it. Oh my god, There's nothing so wrong good. With that. There is nothing, dude. Bee Gees awesome. goes. Bee Gees are hard. hard. <laughs> Bee Gees are hard. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I love it. Um, love Bee Gees. That's all right. My guilty pleasure has actually been country music lately, and I used to. Hate country music. I never thought I would see the day that he was like I actively listening to country to, music. Like now, I'll actually throw on my playlist. It's like, and it's like forty something songs on this playlist now. I did a little bit. It's more than five that it used to be. <laughs> yeah, I really only, I really only like old country. I Dude, don't Zach, care for Zach Brown all. band honestly got me really into country. Like they were, they were that one that I'm just like, damn, he has a great voice, and I like the twang and rock to it. So. It's the only one that really got me into it. And then Luke Bryan. I'm like, all right, there's a couple good ones. You know, you can always find some if you really look hard. I love yeah. Kenny Chesney. <clears throat> Kenny Chesney's pretty good. Dude, Jelly He's rules very talented. <laughs> Jelly rules that man. I love, uh, I love Brooks and Dunn. Oh, Brooks and Dunn just... Mm. I don't know that one. Uh, Neon Moon. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. God. Uh, what's their other song? Freaking... God, they have a million of them. I just realized there's so many neon something in a country song because there's neon lights, neon moon, something about the neon. <laughs> those neon lights. Oh, my lights. my Maria. Duh. Couldn't my even Maria. think of it. Dear Maria. No, I'm not my Maria. <laughs> Love that. Dude, yeah, um, I think. What's his name? Keith Urban? Is that it? Yeah, he's also pretty good. I like Keith Urban. <laughs> he's a uh, blue. Is that the one? Is that he? He's. Uh, Yes. Yeah. That yeah. One. Keith I Urban's I great. I don't remember what the fucking real name of it is, but yeah. What's your guys' like super underground uh, picks that you that you wish <laughs> <laughs> that you wish people would uh, like give a chance to? Hmm. Oh wait, what's her name? Hold on. Are you? <laughs> I already know who you. are Yeah, she on. already knows. I just can never remember the rock band name because it's one of those like really generic ones that I just can't keep fucking remembering. Um, it. I don't necessarily think that they're like underground. Like it's just I recently like last year I I figured them out. But Sleep mm -hmm. Token is really good. I like mm -hmm. really hard rock. Like it just itches that one part of my brain. Like that when you think about like teenage angst, it's like it gets that. And I love it. Yeah. In this moment, by the way, is the band I was thinking about. If you haven't heard her fucking voice, oh my god, dude, I love her. Like I'm in love with her. She is like the way she screams and mm -hmm. everything made me just like, damn, that's my oh, celebrity. Yeah. Like, yo, no, yeah. I'm I'm gonna suggest a, I'm gonna suggest a song, Jesse. You can bleep it. Um, it's literally called. That is, dude, I can work out to that song and just love it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Like that's awesome. Just the dude, I, I love it. I love it. I mean, of course, and there's also like there's some punk bands I listen to that are kind of underground, but they're nobodies, so it's like you know, whatever. Or Lil Pump. I right? feel, I feel the hard rock pick though. I love, I love me some heavy metal and. Dude, you throw some Slipknot my way right here, right now. I'm here. <laughs> like I, I'm an avid Slipknot fan. Like that's one of my just tattoo itches. ideas. Just itches like a certain yeah. spot, you know. And and like, because I'm not like, I'm not a super angry person. Like, my dad taught me how to fight, but I've never like really gotten into a fight. But I was always like, God, I want someone to throw a punch. I want to fight someone so bad. God, I want to fight someone. Honestly, like, 
I really wanted to. I was like, yo, if someone really like tried me right now, I Just would mess boom! them up. <laughs> Deck them right. That was me road. in high school. But like, it's funny because I sat there. I remember I went to Texas to visit my dad and I ended up showing him a song and it was from Five Finger Death Punch. I was like, yeah, just like I, I love like how hard it is. And he just kind of looked at it. He looked over at me. I'm like, hi, damn, is my music too hard for my dad? <laughs> damn, you broke him. Yeah, you, you I finally. tried talking for three minutes and I just realized I was muted. Oh, no, no. no hey, I was there wondering he is. why you were so quiet. It's OK. We were just talking about good music and stuff. Where, where'd you leave off on, Noah? <laughs> I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, let's let's talk about our uh, our shared love for gorillas, Noah. Well, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> the gorillas are one of the greatest bands of all time. Agreed. Agreed. I really like. Them. Hands down. Not even top twenty. <laughs> not God, even, that is not unbelievably Dude, false. I can name twenty other bands right here, right now, that I would much rather listen to than Gorillas. Go ahead. If we're gonna do this Family Guy bit, you can't. Dude, are you really, I, no, go ahead. I want you to name all twenty, and then we're gonna fast forward it to make it seem like you only did ten seconds of it. <laughs> no, don't look him up. <laughs> I have I have my playlist with my bands. They're all the same. Don't look them up. No, 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 no. Because I know the names. You said you can name them. No, no, no. That's the spirit. I hate you. That sounds. We're not doing like a ranking order, right? It's just like we're not doing like a ranking order, right? It's just like just say twenty. Cool. That's fun. Three. Okay. Snoop Dogg, NWA, Easy E by his solo stuff, and then Ice Cube. Don't Don't forget Would Ice you Cube. rather panic at the disco over the gorillas? <laughs> no, no, that. I will put the gorillas no. over panic okay. at the disco. You are not getting that from me. I can't stand Brendan Urine. Eric, I don't. I just think you lack a good music taste. Arctic yeah. Monkeys. The right. fact that you don't I like the gorillas up. blows my I mind. I just don't care. Like, they have some good songs. Like, don't get me wrong. I'll listen to Clint Eastwood. I'll listen to Dare. I'll listen to, um, oh my god, the, the, the good rap one. I just can't fucking remember it. The, the music video was pretty trippy. Not gonna lie. I was so confused with those names for Given a Given that didn't narrow any of their shit down to anything. <laughs> I was gonna say, a lot of the music videos are kind of they, they, the, uh, <laughs> they have the Jamaican guy in it, too. I just can't remember. Dia de Pope. I like the one where the guy gets possessed by a ghost. That one. That's is that one. That one. Yeah, it's that one. I can't remember what the one is. Where is it? Oh, the Saturn's bomb. bars. There you go. Saturn's bars. <laughs> yeah. The bars. <laughs> the bars. <laughs> that's that is Saturn's bars. I love Saturn's oh, bars. my life. <laughs> that's such a good one. That's an underrated one. I don't care. <laughs> oh, and Fozzy. Fozzy's also a better band Fozzie's than the Gorillas. I like Fozzy. Uh, what else? Lincoln Park. I'll actually put them in there too. Yeah. Come on, I can keep going. You ready? Twenty One Pilots. System of a Down. I don't even know why I didn't mention them. I feel he's just asleep. looking at his phone now. Yeah, he is. I need to say Ghost. Oh my god, I'm not even a good fan. I'm a bad fan. Boo. I'm not good at being put on the spot. If you give me like five seconds, like like give me a minute to put all that down in perspective, I got you. Point being, Gorillas is one of the best bands <laughs> ever. Dude, can we uh and you can go fuck yourself <laughs> <laughs> i respect your opinion but i will royally go fuck myself it's okay <laughs> dude do you know have you ever listened to a ghost before no dude that is a good band you like they're a modern band that does like 80 hair rock and it's fucking amazing jesse cannot stand them no i don't like them 
they worship they they they, they do the devils the whole they do what um no what's what are the misfits not the misfits were they the ones who did the devil shit whoever it was they're, they're a good band i wouldn't be able to help you but my computer cut out like 95 percent of what you said okay Aww. that's great too that's all right Noah's technical. Noah, issues. you didn't tell us what's like your favorite band or what's someone that you like you're really into right now. Um, that's not I've Twenty One Pilots ones. or Blink One Eighty Two or the Gorillas. Um, I've been listening to a lot of John Mayer recently. Oh, he has been. Doing wow, that. that's a throwback. Yeah, John John Mayer is really up there for me. True. Um, Top fifty songs. Go. There's a drum and bass band called Sore Slut that I've been listening to. <laughs> Um, That's hot. I'm trying to like stay away from the basic ones that you would already know. You know, Three Days Grace and all that. Ah, oh, I did a fucking well, cut no, out just again. What, what, whatever you're into. Skyler, Three Days Grace fan. Um, like their older stuff. I'm assuming it would probably be more. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Um, right now I'm really into. Well, still into Congos. I fucking love Congos. Um, they're like in a on Australian rock band. That's cool. But they're weird, man. They use like a bunch of. They use Congos. Congos. I think so. <laughs> they use I Congos think so. In Congos. No, they use uh, they use the accordion a lot, and it and it adds like this really cool element to the music. I know it sounds weird. Like the an accordion and like a rock song and like no, an alternative I've heard song. Use like bagpipes in it too. Like yeah, honestly, it's, it's really solid. good. Yeah, that's awesome. It's really good. I love congos. See, I love um, bands that can like do that kind of things and like throw instead of just a guitar and the drums, you're throwing the accordion, you're throwing the organ, you're throwing whatever in there. Honestly, that's really why I like Sleep Token because they sit there and they put some classical music mixed in with it, and I think that with rock music. It actually fits so well. Unless you're disturbed. Not a disturbed fan. Just throwing it. Just, just throwing it out. No. <laughs> they can kiss my sound of silence ass. All right. <laughs> <laughs> my God, what they used to be to what they are now is a is a disgrace to rock and roll. You say three days disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> that Got good. him. That was good. That was some good stuff right there. I'm happy with that. Talk about a band that fell off. Um, so Meta- <laughs> you're a Metallica fan? Is that kind of like you, you, you know that kind yeah, of stuff? I like Metallica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Metallica. I think they're my you favorite guys. band that don't get along. Fair. How do you guys feel about uh, Nickelback? Let's let's bring it up. Oh, we're doing this topic. <sighs> I really yeah. like Nickelback. Yeah. I love Nickelback. I, I I'm back really for Nickelback, it. baby. I like <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I never understood why people like started making a big deal about it. Like, I know that we had this conversation before. Like, we went into depth with into it. Yeah. Saying, I feel like we just did have this conversation. Yeah. I don't know if we did it on camera or not. No, no we, we were just camera. chilling. No, no, no. Just... Oh, you guys were sitting on my couch. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And we were talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We were a little turnt. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Marvelous Maids. <laughs> um, well, the reason is like they kind of like there is a bad perception about them because one comedian made a joke about you yeah. know, or I could like Nickelback, some shit like that, where it made them in a bad light. And then they quote unquote did sell out to a commercial for I think it was like City Furniture. Or something. It was Rooms to Go. Rooms to Go, and then everyone started shitting on them more. And then they uh, had a couple meltdowns during some live performances. And that that had a very small part to play dude, in that. Oh though. no no no! TMZ was eating that shit up. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I think the biggest contributor. Yeah, there was the whole podcast thing. Yeah, you know that one yeah. comedian was just like, yeah, and fuck Nickelback, and people are like, what? Wait, are we supposed to not so like Nickelback? So Wait, hold Nickelback. on. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but I think like the biggest thing was I think it was how you remind me, Nickelback's. Uh, I think it was. When that song came out, according to everyone at that period of time, there was not a single second that that song was not being played on the radio. You could switch it to another station and be on. They they were I kind did. of that band at one point. <laughs> like, so, 
yeah it was pretty funny i watched like the drummer in like an interview and he was like yeah it was really weird like the more people hate us the more the money more, we were making yeah. well it was just <laughs> It's the same thing as I'm going to buy your record to destroy it on camera or some stupid like that. And it's like, so you're going to give Promote. me money. Well, actually, no, it album. wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't hate watching. It was people that because they were so popular, it was on all the time. And the people who didn't like Nickelback were just like, God damn, Nickelback, go away. <laughs> like, so it's, it wasn't even hate watching. It I was, right. I understand. It was right. two separate people being like, I love Nickelback. And I hate Nickelback. And that was it. the craziest part of it. We've yeah, all been there. there. No, it's just about to say, one there's one song that won't come off. Dude, there's always that one artist even now you still can't listen to because of that. Like, honestly, oh, it yeah. took me time to get back into Queen just because it was every time you threw on the rock station, there is at least three Queen songs playing. And I was <laughs> yeah, sick and tired of listening to the same three over and over and again. Queen is great. Oh, but... I love Queen, but not the same three freaking songs. We will you rock know what it... you. <laughs> we, we were, that's, we're only allowed to put on like two stations at the pool that I work at. Uh -huh. One of them is the classic rock station, like 105.9, whatever, yeah, whatever it is. It is right. And then the like the easy listening station or whatever. And most of the time we have, or no, the country station. It was the country station or that. So two very ah, hard choices. Kiss. <laughs> yeah. Kiss country. Damn right. So, <laughs> uh, like you said on the rock station, uh, they would, there was variety. It wasn't just the same song of the artist, but it was the same artist. Like this summer, it was Guns N' Roses. Oh, oh my, my dear God. Lord. Oh. <laughs> there so is only so many Rose. times. There's <laughs> only so many times you can listen to Sweet Child of Mine and uh, Welcome Rain. to the Jungle oh. and November Rain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, dude. I remember working at Insert Restaurant here, and it was the same thing where they had the same songs on a freaking loop. So even now, I can't listen to Guns N' Roses. I It, it hurt because it was always – November rain, and then everyone waited for the same part of November rain, and then we're just like, okay. And then also Phil Collins feeling in the uh feeling feeling yep. in the air tonight. Yeah, that one. That one is yep. the same one because you would hear it once or twice, and it's just like doo -doo 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 -doo. you hear the drum solo, and you're like, okay, that's enough. That's all I wanted to hear. That's that's just what I'm here for, man. <laughs> Dude, like yep. I, I like I think right now the number one thing I still can't listen to is Maroon Five. Mm, I, I still can't even think and I went to a concert for Maroon 5 <laughs> I saw yeah. them live not a bad performance at all it was probably down here on my list though probably dead last I, I think I've seen all a lot of more memorable performances but oh man the mom rock is just not for me man it's just not for me the mom rock. <laughs> but dad rock though oh dad rock's where it's at Dad Rock was my childhood. Let's go see Dude, some freaking Pearl Jam Creed. Oh, or uh, Alice in Chains, baby. Let's go. Free land. <laughs> <laughs> Where is his head on a pearl bed for Creed? Dude, Wait. I just want to wear some <laughs> jeans, drinking a beer with my shirt off. Like, that's just what I feel Eric like. Eric right knows, now. like, it's the whole thing. Like, a lot of those bands, they have that really deep, like, the exact thing that you just did. There's multiple bands that do that. Oh, yeah. It's I Creed and Pearl around. Jam are the biggest offenders, dude. I randomly they around the house will just so... sit there and start doing that super, super deep. Stone Temple oh, Pilots, dude, you too, could, by the way. You could, totally, you could totally do Stone a quiz. Stone Temple Pilots also had that deep voice crap oh. back in the day. You could totally do a quiz to somebody who doesn't know, like, that genre really well no. and be like is this creed or pearl jam and they'll be like yes uh, <laughs> well to be fair i'm really really bad with that kind of stuff like multiple times like not even like oh like a handful like probably at least 50 times either eric's done it to me or when i was working at a restaurant we would sit there and play games and people would realize how bad i was they would play songs that everyone knew and I could not tell you who actually did the song or what the name of the song is. I can sing the lyrics. I know that just fine, but I can't answer the other questions. It's pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that was like the entire joke this summer whenever it would come on the rock station. Like 
even flow or arms wide open higher any of those me and justin the guy that was on the the show uh-huh. uh marvelous mage uh shout out um when when we were working just scream over it on the other side of the pool like where the pond under the sunlight just slowly fall into the water yeah it was graceful <laughs> beautiful dude i love older rock like 90s rock was good even though it gets shit like that's the one time period that gets shit on more than any time period and i think it is criminal i love the grunge so much i'm about to say grunge oh, era it. was a lot better i know people hate it and i get it but maybe it's just because we grew up with the parents who listened to it mm-hmm. but i love the grunge era dude 90s rock is still my favorite like go-to yeah. stuff to listen to Early 2000s Ugh. is still my favorite because that's just what we grew up on. But I just like that. And then I feel like, like how we said earlier, it's like I feel like the rock got harder and harder. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I, I love it. Just like that whole area. And now we're going slow. I loved, I think my favorite was 80s rock. 80s rock was good I rock, loved, too. I, loved like, I, rock. I mean, shit, we went to the, <laughs> went to the concert together. Like, yeah, yeah. I didn't, um, my first concert I ever went to was Bon Jovi. Like, what, what does that tell you? <laughs> Yeah, there was a couple of good 2000s and 90s. Yeah, Three Days Grace, Lincoln Park. Um, you know, those two definitely were my like favorites going into that. Then you have Creed, Pearl Jam, Nirvana. Yeah, when you have stuff though, like, man, Led Zeppelin I is love like, oh, I love Jesus, Zeppelin, man. Well, I mean, there's it is there's 70s music. Yeah, <laughs> like that's it is. Even something uh, else. Even Pink, it is something else. Even Pink Floyd, dude. Like, oh my god. I dude. I was always a Led Zeppelin over Pink Floyd person. Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, I'm, I I I respect that. I'm kind of the same way. But it's like still, like you can listen to Pink Floyd, nothing going on, no TV or anything, and just listen to it and just kind of get lost in the music. Dude, it it's, is nuts. It's like like some a lot of music. other a lot of other music, dude. You you kind of can like multitask with, but like when you're listening to like Led Zeppelin and Pink oh, Floyd, you gotta like, experience it. Yeah, yeah, it is an experience. There's it is a reason different. so many people took acid while listening. To yeah, that is true. <laughs> you know, like, that's the thing. That is confused. It's just it's like. <laughs> by the way, most overrated Led Zeppelin song is "Stairway to Heaven." Can we agree on that? Uh, I don't think yeah. it's their best song. I, I 100 percent think don't think it's their best song. What do you think is their best song? I have to look. I'm going to give you the right title because I'm. I, because like uh, well, I got a couple. Go Days ahead. and Confused, whole lot of love, yeah, immigrant, yeah. Song, immigrant song, rock and roll, song. Black Dog is probably the one you're thinking of. Nope. If I, if I had to guess, that's not it. Um, bu- 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 Holy Dive. Oh, or Cashmere. Cashmere is Cashmere's another big one. Also good. Cashmere. Uh, the Rover in the Houses Light. Houses of the is... Holy. Sorry, Houses of the Holy. That was it. Yeah, that's really good that's too. That's one of my like all time favorite. And honestly, what I really like right now that sounds just freaking like them is Greta Van Fleet. I love them so much. I know part. I have to check out, that out then. Oh my dude, you never heard Skylar. them before? Oh dude, said, it's what is it called? Greta Van Fleet. My God, dude, you're going to. It sounds just like Led Zeppelin. <laughs> And they've won like a ridiculous amount of awards and stuff because they sound so good. They get Ugh. the number one thing they get shit on is because they sound like Led Zeppelin. <laughs> that's a good thing. Though. That's what All I'm right, saying. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. The new Led Zeppelin. Yeah, that's like the first thing. We oh get. my boy, dude! Like seriously, You're gonna love it. I'm, I'll hold oh on. yeah, I'll, I'll check that out because I love that shit, man. I'm gonna recommend um, that song too. Heat above is really good. Um, also, there's another one that I have on the top of my head. I'm gonna find it. Oh, I just thought of another one too. Age of Machine. That one's really good too. That's the one I recommend for you, by the way. Age of Machine would be the one that you'd be like, damn. My two love, favorites uh, are Heat Above and My Love. They're really good. I love uh, Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood, Fleetwood Mac, Mac is oh, yeah. I love freaking Mac. amazing. You'll never hear anything bad about I, Fleetwood. I will say, like, how you got how we just said a minute ago, it's like there's certain types of music that you literally have to experience it. Like mm-hmm. Greta Van Fleet, there are so many songs where you literally just have to do nothing and just like, you know what? Led Zeppelin. I'm just going to live this. Dude, it's 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 kind of scary how it's like, dude, this so is good. a they just came back. It's just one circle. It, it's it's a weird now. <laughs> like phenomenon for sure. It's it's really weird. Led Zeppelin has that unique 
they're quality they're, age, they're to ageless. It. They're one of those very few ageless bands where you can listen to it and still be like, I could listen to this today. I can I can go relax to this. Van Halen captured it a little bit, but not they nearly to the and level. They, yeah, I mean Van Halen is. Don't get me wrong, Eddie Van Halen is you know still like one of the absolute, legend. Like I mean, he is the best ever. The the ever. best guitarist to have ever played that instrument. Top three for sure. Oh, um, I know the other ones that you're thinking. Yeah, about, but... <laughs> I'm about to say I'm like. But no, I think I think Eddie. I think Eddie edges it out. It's an, it's close. It is close. It is not. It's not an absolute freaking. He's gone with it, but no. I there's, mean, I there's understand. Nobody else. Again, top three best ever in the world. I'll give like I could say that confidently. Um, okay, who are your other two then? Uh, Slash is still one of my all time favorite guitarists oh, ever. I, like I'm sorry, he's he's Slash amazing. is good. He's um, yeah, he's definitely top three. Oh my god! All right. Um, really quick, yes, I would ma'am. like to acknowledge that Noah died. Yeah. Yeah, he lost connection. So okay. um, you can make like a dead face right in this general area, right, right here. Just make a dead yeah. face. He's dead. Okay. Us. I just want to make sure that it's like we don't just like know our RIP to Noah. <laughs> <laughs> and, Love and, you, dog. <laughs> rest easy, my boy. Um, the other one, and I might get a little bit of shit for this, and I understand if I do, is the guitarist for Slipknot. I think he is one of the best guitarists there is because of the way he can just like, dude, he shreds that shit. <laughs> it's the big guy with the hair, by the way, for all those. I, I'm not, not good with the numbers like that, but it was the big, tall, cool guy with the mask. I think the other two that I think could give them a, a good run for their money is probably uh, Hendrix. Is... Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah. yeah Hendrix, Hendrix and Prince. <laughs> I didn't even yeah, mean... Well, I don't. Prince was a damn good guitarist. Uh, no, Prince was amazing at the guitar. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm gonna put some respect. Let's call. No, no, I'm gonna put some respect. I'm gonna put some respect on his name. He deserves say. it. Only yeah, no, I'll, Prince. I'll get, the, I'll get these damn albums down right here, right no, now. We no, no, Prince. Prince, Prince was an incredible guitarist. Hell yeah, dude. Um, Not even just Purple Rain, but all of his stuff he did. Yeah, yeah. No, well, he was an incredible musician in general. Hell I mean, yeah. God, he could play anything. <laughs> Skylar, when did you ever hear first Prince? Oh, we're gonna jump right. Oh uh, God, it was in my mom's car. My mom is a huge. Uh, well, obviously, <laughs> since we went to the concert, um, could, she's a huge one. like. She's a huge like eighties. I don't know if she was like the biggest Prince fan. I mean, she liked him. She wasn't just like. But like, ew. were you young? Were you older? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've been on like the classic rock train for since you forever. were like a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah like uh, specifically way. like eighties. I've been all over. Oh, like yeah. Eric Clapton is another love freaking Eric Clapton, incredible dude. guitarist. Incredible. Yeah, I, he's a good guitarist. <laughs> he's a good guitarist. I didn't ever Eric Clapton. Really I incredible might be pushing it, but he's a damn good. No, guitarist. dude, he's, he's one incredible. of the best ever. Are you no, kidding me? No, 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 dude. That one song is no, no, literally no, no. based off of him. No, no. That's great. Fucking That's uh, uh, kissing me softly, or what the fuck is the name of that song? Uh, uh lips of an angel. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's based off of Eric Clapton. Dude, I, that's great. He's not, I mean, personally, he's not my top five. That's just what I'm saying, bro. Like, damn. So you're going to name another 20 or? I said no, top sure. five. I said top five. I'm cutting yeah, it killing, there. Yeah, killing, so, killing me softly with his song. That's, yeah, that's awesome. That's that's great. Good for him. <laughs> I told you, he really just doesn't. Dude, when I shut I out, that's it. it, dude. Like, I, I love Eric wow. Clapton. His music is great, and I have lots of it on my phone. I just, okay, cool. He's a good guitarist. He's good. Van Halen, I think, was better. Um, like... No, he's definitely, Eric Van Halen was definitely better. I'm just saying that he was incredible. And also, when we were talking about, like, best drummers, Phil Collins. I mean, there's no... I, no competition I, I, again travis barker is always gonna be my number one drummer i don't i don't care i mean phil collins is too phil collins is an amazing drummer so is um the one from rush there's the one from led zeppelin that i really like too he was a good drummer or ringo he was a, he was a... or ringo <laughs> we can talk about ringo from the from the beatles baby i i not even top 100 no, like i i well, all right, maybe top hundred, you but know, I mean, like, in my opinion, just nah. I, was, I just uh, never cared for the Beatles music. If I'm I being was honest. pretty I never, good on rock never... band, just to say. Get out of here. 
I, I never sweet. cared for the Beatles that much. The Beatles They're are a couple. Very, you have to have the taste for it, man. Because you really do. Yeah. And I feel bad that I don't have that. But there's a lot of people who do, man. And Honestly, I get that. Like, I just, just kinda... don't. I prefer Elvis. In all honesty, yeah. my hands down, I will listen to Elvis a hundred times more than I'll listen to the Beatles. It's kind of nice to hear you say that because I've always grown up not liking them because I had a oh, teacher like... that played it in aftercare uh... over and over and over. So I just hated it. But every time I would tell people, they were always like, oh my God, like you don't like them. It's just always such a big deal. It's like, man, we didn't grow up with that. Like, what do you want from us? <laughs> well, it's not even It's not even about that because I like a lot of music that I didn't grow up with. Well, it's not even about that. It's just... I mean, we grew up with it, just we didn't grow up with it, if that makes any sense. Like, we didn't grow up in the era, like, the Beatles era, if you were in your young days, like that. Oh, we didn't bad. grow up, but we didn't grow up with 80s hair band either. But well, we, we did, like though. That. Our parents kind of gave us that. Uh... Oh, but still. I mean, well, oh, okay, sure. Elvis, point being. I mean, my grandma listened to Elvis. Um, my mom listened to Elvis. Your aunt, li I love his aunt. Aunt Lana. Yeah, she literally she's, sat there. She's a collector. We went out to lunch, and she was like, oh, Elvis's birthday is tomorrow. I have to make sure I wear my Elvis shirt. <laughs> she's Shout so sweet. I love Shout her. Shout out to Aunt Lana, who's giving me the uh, one of the Elvis records, one of the like vintage ones, too. I'm I kind love of her. I'm she's awesome. so Dude, what? She's like, wait, you display them? I'm like, yeah, I have a whole wall. She's like, I'm going to give you one. I'm like, what? Okay, cool. I love her. What's your take on Elvis? Go ahead. Shit on Elvis. Shit on the king real quick. Hmm? I, I won't. Oh, you like you? You're you're a King fan, okay? You know, you said that you were gonna disagree with everyone. Yeah, we're all that. we're all <laughs> like agreeing Eric's pretty well right that. now, dude. Like, what the hell? I'm taking your role. No, I don't. I don't dislike Elvis. Do you my, have any my that you like really don't like? My grandfather loved Elvis, and oh. I was used to listen to it with him. Hell yeah, I love that. Uh, specifically, uh, Jailhouse Rock. Jailhouse, obviously, yeah, of course. love that. Yeah. Him love that song. That's a, that's a good song. Damn good song. Um, yeah, it's a great song. Yeah, no, like, especially, I, I fell onto the listening more of him after the movie dropped. I won't lie, I fell into that fad. Where sure, like, yeah, of course. It was a really good movie. Listen. It was a good movie, it really was. I didn't feel the way same way about Queen, because by that point, I was already listening to Queen. So when the movie came out, I'm like, <laughs> yep, <laughs> this is wrong. It's okay. <laughs> Dude, in the one yeah. in the one scene, they're making um, "We Will Rock You," and he already had the mustache. I'm like, no, <laughs> that happened <laughs> years before. <laughs> Did he not have a mustache? Not then. No, no. they made that no, song didn't. on their earlier albums. I just realized I've never mm -hmm. seen him without a mustache. He's younger yourself. Oh my good. Oh, well, it just it just made it iconic. Yeah, it's that just made him. He made him the uh, sex icon of like that generation. Got that Steve Harvey mustache. You damn right. Mm -hmm. You damn. Look good on him. It looked good yeah, on look, him too, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, he can get as looking. much of whatever he wanted he ever wants. That man, you know what? He earned it. He earned it. That was a beautiful good voice. Stash. That was a beautiful voice too. Are you kidding me? Oh God. I. I let's talk about vocals then. Oh, we're gonna do this. Let's get into this. All right, let's oh. get into this. Okay. okay. I think. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Hold three on. Three people hold, at the hold, top. Hold on. What's your definition of, of like, because my favorite might not be good at all. You might shit all yeah, over I, it. He needs a definition. You need to give me what your standard is because, dude, my favorite, I'll tell you right now, is Tom DeLong. I don't care what <laughs> anyone, Blink-182, Tom DeLong. Oh. Where are you? That's my favorite. Favorite I so disagree dude. with that. He's my I dis oh, oh, there you go. There's there's your there's there's my I'm gonna disagree with you because <laughs> he no actually no, no not lied, even I lied I lied I lied I think Mark has the best vocals that I ever Mark's good the, the not the deeper voice in Blink One Eighty Two for all those who don't know Mark it's not even close. Well, that's what I'm. That's why I need parameters. I need you to tell me like, are we talking like range? Are we talking but what do you what do you want here? What do you want here? Uh, dude, just best vocalist. I mean, range, dude, all of it. Killing me. Because uh, I mean, there's clearly one that sits so far above the rest. Give me it. What do you got? I want to see if I agree with this. Michael Jackson, dude. Above the rest, dude. It's not even close. You hear him in like live performances and solo recordings with no music, no auto tune. It is. It's insane. Oh, it's it's actually. And I'm not a huge Michael Jackson fan. I'm really not. I, I, but no, I'm not disagreeing with that. Like, I'm just, I'm really not. Like, I love his vocals. He has one of the most iconic voices in all of music history, hands down. 
I just kind of disagree with him being like above the rest because in my opinion, like hell, we pass over Prince. Like he didn't sound amazing live, amazing in the booth. Like, Prince was Prince was good. I think his instruments went a little bit farther than his vocals. Personally, for me, I I, I always appreciated I his music playing rather than his. his oh, vocals. see, like when doves cry and <laughs> even Purple Rain, dude. Like you live for those fucking. I love when doves bro. cry. That's when my favorite is, song by yeah, him. When doves cry is is beautiful little red, that's the little song red. i was i was thinking of when i was thinking of prince and my mom was yeah like she dude, used that, to play she used to play when doves cry oh, all the such time. a great song when hey I that guitar heard, solo, that song, uh though. what was it you said red corvette yeah little red corvette. <laughs> when i first heard that song i looked at eric and i'm just like living in a corvette what is he talking about <laughs> i'm like i'm like no sweetheart it's little living red corvette, corvette. <laughs> i think the other one is uh oh god freddie mercury Queen. oh yeah i mean, I mean that's I can, I'll god that. damn I'll it is that. i thought that's who you're gonna put as one and i would 100 no i think yeah. i think he sits i think he sits right at two personally and i love freddie mercury more than michael jackson like a lot more but and dude sure. you, you gotta recognize the freaking look again one of it the was, best to ever do it they're very smooth hands like down. it's Dude, it's it's insane when you listen to like the archive footage of him you are like he is not even it's not even close it's he was the king he was like regardless of what you think of him he is like it's insane it's insane it is there's a few artists that i i like like i like really deep voices when they're singing like I yeah really- <laughs> It doesn't have to be super deep, but one of those, it's like, it's like honey. It's like it's thick. Darius Rucker, he's my favorite. Yeah, Darius favorite. Rucker has an amazing voice. So really good voice. He has a great voice. Him. I only want to be with you. <laughs> and you're like, I love Wagon Wheel. Wagon yeah, Wheel, Wagon like, Wheel's it great. It gets me so happy every time I hear it. Yeah, Wagon Wheel's um, great. Michael Buble. I really like him. I, I can't like Michael Buble because I listened yeah. to way too much of him in my earlier my it was mom. something like my grandma got into. It's that, yeah, it's that it's that mom stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Buble is the mom I artist. I can't even think about it, bro. Um, it's just like, yeah. I don't think my I don't think my mom ever listened to it, but like, it's totally like the mom artist. Like they're like Michael oh, Buble. My mom went and saw him live and everything. Like, oh my god. We Michael just, Buble. I have nothing against that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I have nothing against that. Dude, I'm sorry. I think I I think like honestly, best vocalist ever. Is either going to be? It's a female, believe it or not. I'm not sexist for all those who thought so. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's either Alaya. She had an absolute uh, Alaya. I'm sorry, Alaya. I'm sorry, Alaya, who had an absolutely amazing voice, and she died way too soon. Because if she stayed alive longer, I think like seriously, people would be like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> like she, she mm. was, she was like, she was amazing. And R. Kelly, of course. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Um, Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston. Had yeah, Whitney yes. Houston is yes. Whitney Houston is like very, when we're, very, if you want to talk talented. about range, you have to go with Whitney Houston. Yeah, that is true. Like, I mean, beautiful voice. I think one of the most overrated voices, and I'm going to get canceled for this right off the bat, is Beyonce. There, I said it. I don't disagree with that. It's I, all, I'm not <sighs> saying she's bad. No, she's overrated. certainly not bad. No, overrated. she's certainly not bad. I really like Beyonce. Like, it's just, but just because we've grown up listening oh, sure. to her. But I will say the one artist that I was really disappointed with that is super, super popular right oh, now is Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Oh, no, you're about to get us killed. FBI, open up! <laughs> bleep this all out. When she was starting out, Jesse, yeah. Jesse, bleep this all out. Uh, Cut it out want, now. We want, the, we want the controversy, please. Burn her. Burn her. <laughs> found our next fucking clip yay oh i just remembered another good one yeah i personally i'm not saying that she's not good now but when she was first starting off like i was young i was in elementary school i was super into her country yes yeah that was her country her white horse era (laughs) and i went and i saw her in concert and i literally she starts singing i look over my dad i'm like daddy that's not what she's supposed to sound like. <laughs> I Damn. was so upset. And like, I don't know, like, why is she talking about sexy babies? I don't understand it. There's literally a lyric where she says sexy baby. 
I I could go on a rant about Taylor Swift, but <laughs> for the sake of yeah, for I the think sake I'm of just, us, I'm just we don't yeah, like I'm her. Just not gonna touch that. You can put the rest in the perspective. There yeah, it is. I'm just not gonna touch it. Hey, hey another, granted, you know, like I'm, I'm trying to change it. Like man. Would, I'm trying to change it right now. Don't carry on. Well, it's not. A, it's, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. Like, like, like what you like. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, just like yeah, but her fan base is so toxic. I'll say that I don't care. Her I, fan base is so toxic. Like I, I that's why it's just like let's just let's just go. I mean, that's <laughs> just their go. business, not mine. I don't care. So let's let's get back to the good stuff. <laughs> Luther Vandross has an amazing voice, by the way. "Dance with My Father" is still one of my songs that I can't listen to without crying because it's so damn good. David yeah. Bowie. David Bowie's good too. I like David Bowie. I think. David Bowie kind of fits into that like upper echelon too. I think he and like Elton John, like that was. I was literally one. thinking Elton John too. Like, Elton oh, John dude, had Elton that like John's really great. Dude. Well, given his older stuff isn't the best because his vocals aren't the same, but like when Elton John was at his peak with like Yellow Brick Road and Rocket Man. Oh ooh, God, ooh, Rocket Man, ooh, Crocodile ooh. Rock, Don't Go Breaking My Heart, Tiny Tiny Dancer. I mean, oh, Tiny Dancer, I'm still I'm amazing. still standing. I mean, there's That's a this... million of them for Elton John, dude. Or even a when he did the. Them. My favorite Elton John thing ever, and because, look, my favorite all-time artist ever is Eminem. Like, that's number one all-time best. I don't give a shit. My best Elton John thing ever was at the Grammys when he and Eminem did Stan. Oh, yeah. Holy mm-hmm. I will listen yeah, to that song now. And st- that. I will still get goosebumps because it's just like, dude, that is just so cool seeing, like, two of your, like, favorite artists ever just on the same stage doing a rendition of a really good song. <clears throat> I felt that way about uh, Elton John did did a song with uh, with Gorillas too. <laughs> did he really? Was, oh yeah, he did. I had that really, song. Yeah, it was, him. It was and, great. Um, uh, was it was it Black? He did Black. Black. Yeah. Yeah, it's Black. That's yeah, it was a great Dan song. song. Love that song. Yeah, you know that new artist Ozzy? Like he ended up doing. Oh, that something Osborne guy. Yeah. yeah, the Osborne like- guy. <laughs> Dude, Ozzy Osbourne's a legend too. Jesse and I were just talking about this not yeah. too long ago. Where I'm just like, dude, like she didn't know that like he was in Black Sabbath. So I like, you know, Iron oh, Man yeah. and Paranoid and all that. It's like, oh my god, that's like a uh, god, fi- freaking Foo Fighters with Nirvana. Oh yeah, well he was the drummer. Yeah, Dave yeah. Gould. Yeah, he was the drummer. And Dave then Gould. Um, Dave. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dave Gould. I'm sorry. Don't don't kill me. Don't hurt me. <laughs> um, f- uh, Phil Collins was in a band too before he went and just did the Phil Collins and whatever. I, so, uh, yeah. I know that Darius Rucker was part of Hootie and the Blowfish. Was yes, he really, really part of Hootie yeah. and the Blowfish? Yeah, really? that's and why I, I never that's, knew that's that. literally that's why I sang. Oh, I only want to be with you. Yeah. I didn't even put that in perspective. Now yeah. about it. Oh shit, that makes that's so why, much sense. That's why that's why Key and Peele has that whole sketch. They I'll have a I'll whole sketch I'll, about I'll, it. I'll, oh my god, it's so funny. I've seen the Outcast one. Speaking Outcast, another great artist, great, they're amazing. Yes, but. Oh my god, dude, that's um, hilarious! I can't believe I didn't think about that. I think a good way to round it out, because we're getting to the hour mark. Oh, I didn't even. Realize. I know it's crazy, dude. I love music. Um, we can talk about this forever. <laughs> like, I think a good thing to end on is what we're all like super into, like right now. What's that one song that you keep playing on repeat? Damn, that's actually kind of hard. Um, Skylar, go ahead. You take this one real quick. Um, Green is new stuff. I'm listening to it. Okay. pretty pretty often but like off in the background it's it's good but it's not like it's not brand yeah new. it's yeah, i got you I, I'll, I'll be honest i'm still like really listening to that food fighters album I it's have, I'm gonna really put that good on as soon as we're off actually. yeah I'm seriously man it's it's great yeah i'll i'll send you like dude please rescued rescued under you and nothing at all i'm just gonna like, put it on i just apple yeah. music baby throw that bitch on and just play it's so good man love dude, it love yeah, it, no, love it, love it. no my favorite thing is definitely blah blink 182 like they're the same thing where it's just their new album i have cycled through it t- a, a, a million times like i will start with anthem three end with childhood and be like i'm ready for the next one <laughs> let's do it again but um, also the Eminem. I'm getting back my Eminem stuff too. Like I finally started going back listening to his old old stuff, and I'm like, all I'm right, old Eminem. I'm in the mood for some Slim Shady. Let's see. And then D12, and then you listen to Bizarre and the whole Bizarre. Play. Yeah, and then I I'm like, Bizarre. all right, I'm gonna listen to some Proof in uh, Fifty Cent now. Let's go. Yeah, I've been listening to uh, Tame and Paula too. That's been oh, really shit. good. And that's really good. And uh, and Congos too, but they haven't had anything what new. But I've just been Tame and Paula. Really good. It's it's uh, it's really hard to describe. It's really good though. I've I've been 
obsessed with it. I have a it. band for you. I, I this will, this will, and then you can tell it, and then we oh. can wrap it. Stick figure. If you they're like really reggae, holy shit, they're amazing. <laughs> if you don't like reggae, don't listen to it because you're gonna hate it. <laughs> like that's you're gonna absolutely. <laughs> no, no, hate I, it. I do, I do like reggae. I've been, I've been listening, to, listening to Revolution. Oh, okay, okay, so, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, no, dude. It's... Listen to um, Stick Figure. You're gonna, you're gonna fall in love with them. They're a really good band. I have a lot of songs you can listen to, and that's... I've been listening to a bunch of different bands. Like, uh, uh, I don't know how, but they found me. That's been really good. Hootie and the Blue, and... Uh, the Blue Fish. <laughs> <laughs> the news, probably. <laughs> I've yeah. been on like one end of the spectrum on each end. Like literally today, I've had Sleep Token, Rain stuck in my head. It's really good. But then also I've had a song called Dandelions by Ruth B. So it goes from really hard to like really soft and girly. That that sounds so just spot on. Like yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We just do a bunch of random stuff. Yeah, I like everything. Well, hold on, I'm gonna do this. Hey, it's Noah. What I'd like to listen to is Blink One Eighty Two and Gorillas because they go ooh 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 hard and <laughs> <or> hard. <laughs> uh, well, one one last thing. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, you got have you guys seen Bullet Train yet? on netflix yes bro with um with brad pitt yeah yeah, yeah. brad pitt and oh, oh my everyone, god everyone. amazing everyone. movie amazing movie but the the japanese rendition of staying alive oh my so god good. dude it is stuck <laughs> in my head and i listened to it it, it is it on for you yeah it is great it's just it, just look up like bullet train staying alive That's like japanese good, that was a, that will come up it is good it's in the trailer too. yeah it's in the trailer and it, it just Oh my god, it hits such good notes with staying alive. And then they somehow the Japanese version turns up turns up the funk even more. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Right after we end this, we're looking this up. <laughs> oh god, it's it's great. All right, let's wrap I it. I love it. Uh on yeah. behalf of Noah, we're gonna wrap this one. Noah, any last words? Do 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 do. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you coming out and just, you know, joining in this foolery once again. Uh, I'm Eric. You can go follow us at Leaky Lounge on Instagram. Go check out Don't Laugh Gaming over on YouTube and check out all the game content there. Captain Peaches is over there to my left. You know about him. Marvelous Mates is still, still going long and strong, and I'm loving every second of it. Doing great, too. It's, it's Love it. It's, Love it. Really having well. a lot of fun, too. Yeah, dude, we ha haven't had this much fun in a long time. It's nice to kind of get into something that we enjoy so much. Uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, or anything like that, please make sure you leave them down here. Make sure to like, subscribe, share with a friend, all that fun stuff. Go love somebody. Go hug somebody. Bye. Deuces. Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Oh, no, you're about to get us killed. I Oh, my God.